Hey everybody, it's Jay Janess with the Slasher Mini Network and I have a two-for-one review for you. To my right, we have Nirvana's With the Lights Out and to my left, we have Alice in Chains' Music Bank. Now these two box sets come from two of the most influential bands from Seattle, Washington. But before I go any further, I have to do an honorable mention of Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, and Mud Honey. Now, these two box sets were very highly anticipated by fans, especially Nirvana's With the Lights Out. This has a very deep history in being not released until 2004. Now, the reason why this wasn't released originally back in, I believe it was 1999, was due to the fact that Courtney Love owned the licensing rights to Kurt Cobain's estate. And it, it, there was just this big whole clash, and I believe there was a lawsuit. Don't quote me on that. But either way, in 2004, we finally got this. And fans were very, very, very pleased with it. Now, when you open it up, you're going to notice that you have four discs and a little booklet inside. The first three discs are audio, whereas this one here is a DVD, and it's got all kinds of concert footage and whatnot. Um, the book here, it, it's got a very deep history of Nirvana, and it... It's very well put together. I personally don't like the size of it, but that's neither here nor there. I, I, that's just a personal con. Now, each CD contains demos, uh, un unmixed tracks, uh, solo tracks, and it contains one mastered track that was unreleased up until the best of Nirvana. I, I'm not sure of the name, but it was released just before this box set here, and that track was You Know You're Right. But on the best of CD, it, it was more of a demo, whereas to the version that was released on this was a full mixed track, and it just came out so beautifully. I'm... I'm very excited that this was released. I can't say it enough. It, it's got a nice solid feel to it. Um, if you see on the front here, it's got a metal plate on it. And it's very awesome. It, it's, it's just beautiful. And on the back, it has this really strange thing to it. And matter of fact, it's on this part as well. If you press your hands on it, you'll be able to see that it starts to sort of show some images. I mean, I can't personally make any of the images out, but it looks like there's lot, little liner notes, um, all kinds of concert track listings that they played, all, all their play sets and whatnot. But this is very great to have. I, I, I love it. I, I listen to it every couple of months or so, and I can't get enough of it. It's great. Now, Alice in Chains box set, The Music Bank. This was pretty anticipated. Prior to its release, there was a best of CD called The Best of The Music Bank. And it literally was that. It was a best of of the box set. Now, just like with Nirvana's The Lights Out, this contains all kinds of unreleased tracks, demos and everything. And Also, when you open it up, you're going to get four CDs here. The first three, they're all audio CDs with the unreleased tracks and demos and everything. And as you see here, the front of these CDs show off 
uh, inspiration of the actual albums that were released, like Dirt, uh, Facelift, and Jars of Flies. Now, the fourth CD here is actually a CD-ROM. Uh, according to the inside here, it's got three different things on here. You have The Journey, which is a CD-ROM game, uh, the Get Born music video, and Jar of Flies CD Extra Multimedia. Now, I personally am not quite sure what is on this CD, so if there's anybody out there that can tell me how to get this to work on my laptop, I'm running a Windows 7 64-bit operating system. It would be highly appreciated. But I really do wish I could have been able to check this out so I could tell you a little bit more about this. Now, just like with the lights out, there's a little booklet in here which gives you a history of Alice in Chains. And it, it's a really good read. I like it. There's all kinds of liner notes, a little bit of history and whatnot. Uh, it's got images of old school posters that they would post up about their shows and everything. And it, just like with the lights out box set, it, it's awesome. I, I love it. I, I, I listen to these all the time. A little bit more than I do this. But either way, both of these box sets are really great. Now, I'm not sure if anyone's going to be able to get their hands on these unless you like go to eBay or Amazon. But any fans of the Seattle scene or just the grunge from the early 90s, I highly suggest for you to pick these up. I, I I can't see myself living without these. I mean, I, 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 I'm not a big fan of being materialistic or anything, but I mean, come on, Nirvana and Alice in Change, you cannot go wrong. I mean, they, they inspired so many different bands. They came from this whole scene that just produced this large amount of bands. And they just completely blew away anything that came out of the 80s. I mean, Nirvana and Alice in Chains, they, they started in the mid to eight, late 80s. But what drove them home was the stuff that they brought out into the 90s. And it's never been forgotten. But anyway, these box sets, like I said, you got to get them if you can, please. Do yourself that favor. If you're a fan of any of these bands, I highly, highly suggest these box sets. I, I, I can't suggest them enough. They, they hold such great material. So, my final thought here is two thumbs up right there. Well, everyone, once again, this is JHNS slash Mini Network. Have a good one.